We think we have built a resilient economy, a sustainable economy. The platforms that we have are today uh, strong. Uh, we have been able to have uh, better reserves, low inflation, high growth, which means that in every part of our overall macro fundamentals, we have uh, sufficient spaces built. At the same time, you can see that our doing business indicators are improving, the infrastructure is improving, and we have also diversified our economy into five new hubs, uh, maritime, aviation, knowledge, energy, and commercial. And to that, we must add the current existing uh, areas of development like the apparel sector, the gems and jewelry sector, and tourism sector. All those gives sufficient space for investment to take place on a consistent basis in our economy. For of people to come in and do business, they need to have um, good systems particularly the banking system, the uh, <coughs> law and order system. Then of course the infrastructure, like the roads, like the telephones, like the cleanliness in the city, uh, like good uh, office uh, buildings, then health services, education services, entertainment. So all these are important ingredients in a country for it to be attractive to the outside people to do business. And uh, I would think that um, if you compare Sri Lanka of five years ago and now, we have come a long way. And today, many people look at Sri Lanka, not only the locals, but also people from outside. They see uh, new developments in Sri Lanka as being the, the uh, uh, basis for doing business in Sri Lanka. And I think in time to come, that can only improve. Most of the challenges that we, we encounter today are from external sectors, because the world is now fully connected to Sri Lanka as well. So whenever there is any type of uh, disturbance or turmoil outside, uh, it can have an impact on the Sri Lankan economy as well. So we are trying to minimize those uh, shocks by ensuring that we are stronger and that we have the necessary space to deal with any shock. Now we are, to a great extent, having that ability and therefore it is much less of a, a concern for us than some time ago. Earlier, we ourselves had uh, many uh, shocks as well as disturbances in our own economy. We had a conflict that was raging for a 30-year period. Uh, we had macro fundamentals which were not very strong. Uh, we had an uh, investment climate that didn't instill much confidence. But all those have now changed. And as a result, we can look forward to a much better uh, environment, uh, which we have made use of uh, to give, us, give ourselves uh, high growth, low inflation, and good macro fundamentals. We have two main roles. One is to ensure price and economic stability, and the second is to ensure financial system stability. Now, what you mean by economic and price stability is to ensure that the country's price levels do not change materially from time to time. There can be a gentle increase uh, or decrease, uh, very often an increase, but it should be a manageable, gentle increase. At the same time, maintaining financial system stability means that all your payments and settlement systems, your banking sector, your non-bank financial sector, the insurance sector, the stock markets, all are stable and that they are not uh, in any turmoil, which makes it difficult for people to do business. Sure we have done some reforms in the part of uh, improving the business indicators that, is, that are tracked by the World Bank uh, very, very uh, in a focused manner. And uh, that also has paid dividends. And we see people finding it easier to do business in Sri Lanka. And hopefully going forward, uh, all these conditions put together uh, would help us to uh, take the profile of Sri Lanka higher. And that would mean that people would recognize it as a very good uh, doing business uh, destination.